This is the Smoking Man Sentinel. You'll soon see why it's called the Smoking Man Sentinel in a minute. This is based on a couple of projects from Jonathan R. His motion detection and tracking for the ESP32 cam water gun and an ESP32 cam for controlling a Mi Arm Roboclaw with a PCA9685 and a 12 I2C controller. So most of this um, code come from there and it's been mashed up badly by myself. Basically it's running a OLED display, the ESP32 camera. It has the PCA9685 on there but it's not properly implemented at the moment. It's basically running off one pin off the ESP32 cam at the moment. I've got 12 watts coming in which is a bit high, it's causing some issues with um, dropouts because it's running off Wi-Fi and it's going down to 5.5 volts or six for the servos and supplying the ESP32 with voltage as well. Has a switch on the side here for controlling the um, gun. The gun itself is, a, is, is basically a gel blaster. It's a cheap a cheapy gel blaster I've got there. Um, it just is stripped, stripped one of these apart and now inserted that inside the housing here. So I got it down as small as I can. I've had to make up my own hopper. What it does, it has it has no tilt. It has has side to side. It can pan side to side, but it has no tilt. Not not automatic. It has manual tilt, so you can tilt it up and down a little bit itself if you follow up what I'm putting on the ground or up high, and just lock it in position. So the tilt is fixed, and then your pan side to side is working on it. Now the reason I'm called a smoking man is because when it's assembled, this is a very tight fit. When it is actually assembled. We have a smoking man. Now the OLED display on this one will actually give us the um, Wi-Fi um, address. So we can. T I'll just turn that on. It may keep crashing, which it seemed to be in before. It's got 11.4 volts. So it's come up and it said after it's gone through settings, it says 192.168.1.2. So if I punch that in on my phone, I normally do on the computer. It seems to work, but on here it seems to be a bit. Not very stable. So go go. Uh, when it first comes up, see this is the interface. It's up down. Well, that doesn't work, but the up down seems to rotate the camera. So the camera is orientated the correct way. It goes right. It goes left. It can squirt. Now that would normally be firing the gun. So if I put onto track, I'll turn the gun on. We'll put onto track. Okay, so it's a bit random at the moment, but uh, it's trying to track me through the camera. It's a bit dark. It's not. It's, it's tracking movement on the camera, which is the way it's set up. So I'll now pull it apart and show how it goes, or get an idea how it goes together. So we'll take the top off. Okay, so it's all only, it's all laser cut. So I've got a 50 watt laser machine. It's all just laser cut and it's just sitting together. This part is actually glued. Everything else is just sitting in position. So as you can see, we have ESP32 on the front camera. We've got the OLED display, we've got a switch for turning on and off the, the um, gun itself and then we have our servo. Now our servo is mounted a bit differently because the servo is mounted between there and there so it's only just driving. The servo isn't supporting all this weight which everyone you see they're all wobbly and it's all buggery. This is pretty good because what we've got inside here we've got a ball bearing basically a homemade ball bearing so it's got a race it's got a little divider to keep all the balls apart, 8mm beads, the balls which are actually beads, and it's got another race going on the top which is not on there at the moment. And then it's running through from there to the PCA9685. It's got a um, voltage in which has got a voltage divide that can bring it down to 5 volts, a regulator, and it's also got a, a MOSFET to fire the 
um, gun because a gun's trigger voltage is up around 8 volts. It's a bit high at the moment, but so we've got eight, it's got 12 volts coming in. I'm probably going to have to convert it to 8, and we've got 5.5 volts going to control the Arduino, uh, to control the ESP32, and the rest of the OLED display, etc. So I might pull it apart, and we will have a look at how the. So that basically just comes out of there at the moment. The whole thing will fall to bits because it's all just slotted together. So all these bits will come apart. So that all comes apart like that. So I'm going to disconnect the servo. So there your main components just sit on the top. On the bottom we have the servo. So that's the centre pin which holds the horn. And these two are screwing into the outside of the horn. So I'll just get a screwdriver where the bearings run. The bearings will run in the round section there and the servo will drive in the centre. Those three um, spokes are there just for assembly. They will be cut out. Then the bearing cage goes on the, onto there. So they're ball, that's not really ball bearings, but they're, <laughs> they're the bearings I'm going to be using at the moment in the bearing cage to sort of separate the ball so they don't rub together. Then that's the surface the bearing will run on. And our servo... So I've got some other pictures of the cage before I assembled it, but that's basically the bearing race. So you assemble it all like that and glue there, glue there, and screw it down. And then you cut these little pieces out so that becomes a, that's your race for your balls. So from here, oh, just lost all my balls. Okay, so that's, the bottom race, the balls are all held in position by the retainer there. Now all that is coming out of there. Now that's a double thickness as you can see that's sitting on top of there so that's screwed together so that that's flat so that's just giving us enough height and the motor survey motor just comes out like that and screws into the centre and then the other two screws hold in position so that's going to drive it and the balls are doing all the support. So all we're doing here now, I'm going to look at this and try and put that extra race in there because there's enough room to put that extra race in there. It's running on nylon here and the nylon around there is supporting the balls. Okay, so I'm going to come back, I'm going to modify this to sit that onto it. If I can work out where it's got to go and then screw that in position and glue that down. So we'll come back to it when we've got this all ready to go back together, but this makes it so the balls are supporting it and it's running on the ball bearings. All this is just is driving it in the section. So the, the servo is only driving it, so it's all supported and held in position by the balls of the race. Fitted the new piece inside here, cut all the little webs, webs out. Now I've just got to line that up, so that's going to go that way. All those balls are going to sit in the holes. So that's going to go in there. Do the middle one first, because that's the most... <laughs> yeah. That's just about taking all that movement out of it. And that will definitely wear in, that feels pretty good. So that's going to be the front. That's just going to be the front, I don't know. Alright, so. Put it all back together, so that's going to be that, isn't it? That's it. And we'll go to a wire, that's going to be fine wire to the back. Okay, so that's that. That's going to go over to there. Okay, so I've um, put the new the base in with the new bearing. 
support in it. It's a lot smoother. It's just solider. Um, I'm just putting this back together, lining this all up. Nip the butt firm in the right position. It's got the cutaway, so that sits onto there. Cutaway there, and this is the back that's going to go on when it's all together. Okay, so I've reassembled it all back together. Um, so what I'm trying to get, going to get for it, I've got some LEDs coming for it, which are going to be addressable LEDs. So we have mood, mood eyes. He'll have uh, green eyes when he's happy red eyes when he's not happy and uh, when he's attacking or pretend, protect, protecting himself he'll have a blue and a red eye alternating flashing like a police siren and hopefully we can get sound in here as well which we might give a bit of a verbal warning just the noise is enough to chase stuff like pigeons that away they don't have to get pit with a gel blaster um, balls <laughs> <laughs>